sorrow and sheep sorrow. <laughs> now then, how does that look, eh? That's a proper job, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Tending to my dinner. Cooking yummy biscuits. Uh, looking forward to my dinner. And a couple of wee Scotch whiskies. After that, we're getting there, aren't we? Wait till we get a wee whiff up one. Get that one. Oh! <laughs> Knock it on the head. This is glamping. This is wild camping with a very sexy twist in it. Water boiler. We flicked it in the back to calm it down, but I don't know if you can see in there, but it's uh, still boiling away. Two litre tank. Got that from Go Outdoors. 39 quid. Got the full stainless steel stove from the canvas tent stove.co.uk um, shop. Absolutely astounding bit of kit. Made a wee dampener for in the chimney, which is closed just now. It um, asked for the stove uh, on the Thursday and paid for it on the Thursday on the internet. And um, that's it fairly open. As you can see, we're making a wee bit of smoke, so with the door closed, that being the door open, and the door being closed, and I shut the dampener, we've got a pretty efficient bit of kit here. I'm now down to virtually zero smoke, and it will after five minutes because it takes five minutes to swing around. Anyhow, um, I paid for this at quarter to five on the Thursday. I sent a wee email asking if they could maybe perhaps possibly deliver it on the Friday because I was leaving on the Saturday morning to come here. I know there was no chance, but nonetheless, it arrived on the Friday. These guys are astounding, highly recommended. 250 quid. Cheaper than a G stove. Aye, what, 20, 30 pound? Far superior as far as I'm concerned. This is a personal opinion, but this stove takes a bit of beating. 9.5 kilograms, 2.5 kilowatts in output, but if you run it hot with a door open, you'll get three and a half out of that. Um, I've had that chimney going right away. This is a serious bit of kit. Go for it, guys. Go and have a look at it. Serious. Brilliant. Guys, so we've got these um, beautiful macro free food, and um, we stuck them in our wee pan here with some sheep sorrow. Again, free food, and uh, we're now just about to start eating them. We, as in me, ready the fins. So the sheep sorrow, um, and you want. the sheep sorrow may not look too attractive. Though it may not, I can assure you, it is absolutely stunning. Sheep sorrow and mackerel, it's um, nature's lemon in the northern hemisphere. Anyhow, mm -mm. that is something else. That is absolutely stunning. This is one of these wee plastic spatulas that you get in the instruction industry for decorating, like putting on cock or filler. They're so good for your um, non-stick pans. Don't damage it with these metal things. It's a very oily fish mackerel. So the sheep sorrow being a very lemony plant. Offer some massive tickle to your tongue with it. Mm. This 
That's a sheep sorrow leaf. That's one that's not been cooked yet. That I didn't throw in, but um, <laughs> stun him. Sheep sorrow one side, unlike a lot of plants. Wait, the larger leaves getting less tasty. Sheep sorrow gets more tasty. The bigger it leaves, the better. That is a very high protein and um, very high brain food. All free. There, a sea trout just came up there. <coughs> and again, don't know if you've seen that. I did not I won't see any after effects yet. That's the you watch this time. See if we can see it again. See what that is. In case it was near, see how it can look like a diddy. Two of them, two of the divers, I show them accurately out there. Here, a third one up in the sky. See if he takes a plunge as well. That'll be where the sprat are in the macro. Oh, he's coming about anyhow. They're taking a long time to come up with the water, suggesting that they're maybe trying to swallow a fish, so that was probably a, a kill for them. Kill for them and a number one hit for me. Back in bowl. All of me. Why not take all of me? Oh, can't you see? I ain't no good without you. I haven't got a wee coffee on there. Break the oily macro syndrome in the mouth. Although the um, the wood sorrow did do the best it could. In fact, macro is just a very oily, oily fishy. So hot water on tap. Talk about glam. This is normal old camp. Pre boiled as well. That'll do for me. Up to, up to the safety valve. chimney on this stove. I'll pull it up quickly. <coughs> I don't like hot drinks, I'm in construction, construction management. And it's not very often you get the chance to get a drink of coffee this hot. Usually when the coffee gets put out for you, it might be two or three hours after it before you actually get a chance to get a, a drink at it. Just leave a wee door open. Not much for this bad boy coming up. Eh? Here we get 
a bit. Although, what date are we on now? 11th of August at half past seven, give or take a few licks and sniffs. And there's nothing magic to be seen. Perfect. That's why I prefer winter camping or late summer or spring. None of these bloody biting things. Okay, the fire a wee pushy. Open the dampener. Fancy. Steam pressure, you know. Whoops. Steam is quite strong, isn't it? Wait for the gurgles. Let's see what works. It works on steam pressure. I still use steam pressure to fire these um, fighting jet things off of these. Aircraft launchers. Still a steam ram that does it. I think I found anything that's as strong as a steam ram. Perfect, eh? Made to measure. Let's see if we got this right then, eh? Just looks a bit good enough to me. Easy peasy lemon squeezer. Oh, standing. We could um, maybe do further cheating, maybe more oh, technology. Maybe put some light, delicate sounds on for myself. Uh, I better do some more fish. About three. I'm down to two. So I am. Dampener. That'll drag the wee fire down here. A licking and sniffing fire rather than a roaring and biting fire. First cast, two macro. What do you think? <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> I feel a no chance syndrome creeping in. Anyway, here we go. Pen Squadron. And a fabulous wee reel. I can't see what it says on it with my, not having my magic eyes on. Seeing I'm getting old. But that's a six pun braid, which is thinner than a human hair. Nice and bright, because I can't see things now without my specs on. Three, 
maybe three pot sized ones as well. Maybe no. Sorry, we go. Maybe he'll do the fault. Well, I don't know. Cheeky wee thing up too. that one anyhow but that's no need to hurt it unnecessarily <laughs> No eye movement, good sign. Look at the size of that big one compared to it, man, that's a monster. That's just nails. Twenty calories. <laughs> Whatever that means.
put kitten sticks in it, you small ones. Steak roll sandwich. With loads of hot veg in it. Oh, yeah, that's good. Buy it and try and come in here. How cheeky is that, eh? Oh, oh, we lost one. Because it's got lighter. Cheeky! It ain't what you do, it's the way that you do it. Well, looks like that one's making a break for freedom. Hope it gets it. This one's rather tasty, so I'll maybe just hit that for tomorrow. That's about the safest way to do it for the fish. It really doesn't feel much. I hope. Let's see if this one got its break for freedom. Did it make it? Good to meet. Fabulous. See, it pays to wriggle in your life, no? <laughs> oh, 
freeze today. Cheeky wee thing or two. Oops. Well, we're keeping that one anyhow. But that's no need to hurt it unnecessarily. No eye movement, good sign. Look at the size of that big one compared to it, man, that's a monster. That's just nails. That looks like two litres of boiling water. So we'll just uh, knock it off the main stove. Stick it in the back for a wee while. And we'll turn the fire down. And we'll close off the dampener a wee bit. And we'll go on with our coffee. As you can see, I like a lot of milk in my coffee. I like very strong coffee with a lot of milk. Bon appétit. Oh boy, that really will keep me up all night. That's a stoker. I go camping in the winter at half past six, it's usually covered in snow. Mine is something in pitch black. This is stunning. This will be August time in Scotland, don't walk long. Drinking a super coffee. Well, went to my new wee guy who's been added to the brigade of tricks. Mm. From these guys at the canvas tent mob. Done me a great deal, gave me a free axe, gave me a fire starting kit, and sent it, and I got it the next day. I bought it at five o'clock on a Thursday, and it arrived. On the Friday. How do you do that? What a fabulous company. Highly recommended. Here's the details. Canvas Tent Company. Dot com or dot co dot uk. Canvas Tent Shop. I stand corrected. Wonderful guys. Sent him an e e email saying it was going to this weekend and then he really needed it to land Friday at the latest Saturday. Forty-five. I made the purchase and sent an email. Would it be possible? Although I expect not for this to land tomorrow. And it did, it landed on the Friday. £250. It's called the Silver Gem. Um, an amazing stove. I made a wee damp for a minute, I must admit. That was my Friday afternoon trick, so it was.
that's obviously sitting at almost closed. That's fully open. That's fully closed. Virtually stops it for live wood, but when it comes to smouldering embers at the end of the burn in the evening, when I shut the dampener and I shut the vent at the front. Like we're running live wood just now, so we're still got a flame, we're still creating a burn, we're starving it of oxygen. That is that is still running quite efficiently, considering it's getting starved at oxygen. Let's drop back to two o'clock, we'll call it again. I'm reducing the amount that's going up the chimney, but I've also created a serious amount of smoke which suggests that it's not running efficiently. So I don't know if me making a dampener made a result for live wood. But as you can see there, that's perfect. How efficient is that? There's nothing but a heat haze. There is zero smoke. And that is live wood. With the air intake closed and the dampener fully open. But when it gets, as I say, to the end of the burn, when you're sitting at a cooking stage, what I would class it as red coals, I can close the dampener and trap all the heat in that heater. And um, that gives me a result because I can drag that temperature out for another hour with a reasonable amount of coals in it over and above what it would normally be with just scalping up the chimney and getting wasted so um, normal running I'll let it run the way the guys have designed it it runs perfect at the end of the burn when you're hitting the sack and you've got red hot coals in there that wee dampener that I made when you drop the dampener it works with tension. I obviously put a wee spring on it as well, as per normal, so as it holds its tension, so as I can actually control the dampener and it doesn't drop to a heavy point. So all good. The water heater came to go outdoors. The one that was for the stove or for the the G stove is a three litre. That's a two litre. Two litre meant I had enough room to fit that in. Also, this two litre was um, thirty nine pound. That's all it was, was £39 out to go outdoors. £250 for the stove, everything stainless steel. Probably a lifetime guarantee. That will see me at... Too many grey hairs. <laughs> Anyhow. Have you caught anything? Have you caught anything? No! I've got five, but that was for two hours ago. I've caught nothing in two hours. Hi, the wee fellow's coming up. We decided to leave our um we're blow up, are self inflating. Tonight we're going to sleep in the top of our sleeping bag and we're going to throw our, um, our uh, duck down jacket over the top of which I imagine would be plenty. I'll sleep in a fleece and throw that over my legs because we're probably going to only get down to about 9 degrees tonight, which is uh, pretty warm when you sleep as hot as I do. Uh, looking forward to my dinner and a couple of wee scotch whiskies after that we're getting there aren't we wait till we get a wee whiff up when you know when. Oh. <laughs> knock it on the head this is glamping this is wild camping with a very sexy twist in it. Water boiler. We flicked it in the back to calm it down, but I don't know if you can see in there, but it's uh, still boiling away. Two litre tank. Got that from Go Outdoors. 39 quid. Got the full stainless steel 